the first thing you need to know is how to soak foam. Um, we're just going to put this in the water. If you push it under, what happens is you seal the foam and it's dry in the middle and then it, your flowers won't last so long. So I'm just going to let that soak away. In the meantime, I've actually soaked one earlier and you notice that I've cut um, a large block of foam in half. So we've created a square there. Also, I'm just using a bit of cellophane. So if you like to recycle things, you could just use some of your flower cellophane sleeves. Or if you've got some roll of cellophane, you can cut a little bit off here. Right, so what we're going to do is actually create a waterproof container using the cellophane. And we're just going to build up the sides and use some sellotape, like wrapping a parcel really. Tucking it in, around, until you feel that there's no water going to come out of the design. Just to finish it off and to make it nice and secure, I'm just going to put one long piece of sellotape all the way around. Like so, let's move that out of the way. I'm just going to cut the cellophane level with the foam. Another tip is actually if you're putting flower food into the bowl, it will make the flowers last a bit longer if they absorb a little bit of the flower food. Right, just move this out of the way. Right, just taken some straw and just laid this on the table. And what we're going to do is just lay the little bundle in the straw and I have some string here which I'm going to sit underneath and start pulling up the straw around the design. In order to hold this together, we, we're going to do it like a double knot. So I'm just going to take the string around once and twice and then when I pull it, it stops the string unravelling. And I'm going to pull that really tight and then just make a knot. And hopefully that's pulled all the straw together. Just make sure that all the oasis is covered up. Just clear the decks a minute. So you can see the design. And you can just open this out at the top. You can also create this design using moss. So if you haven't got any straw, and you can get some nice moss. You can wrap the moss around and that creates just as nice a design. And then we're just going to take some forest pansy leaves and just going to add them around the edge. This was giving the design a little bit of contrast here because you've got the lovely dark edge leaves which are going to link in nicely with the sunflower centre. Now alternatively, if you haven't got these leaves, you can use Virginia creeper or you could use large ivy leaves. And I'm just going to take the sunflowers, just cut them at a nice sharp slant. They don't need to be kept very long. I'm just going to tuck them into the foam. Just need about five for this design. And they can be all higgledy-piggledy because it is a natural country design. Pop that in there. It's important to have really nice sharp scissors that are nice and clean because if they're dirty they can put bacteria into the stem which can, can shorten the life of the flower. I'm just going to bind some string around because what we need to do is tighten the whole thing together and also you are, the, the string's part of the decoration, so you want to be able to see that. You could also use a nice ribbon, some brown ribbon, and tie. And then you can just neaten up the ends by cutting them. And there we have a finished, lovely country um, natural design suitable for an autumn table, a summer table, a marquee, wherever you like to put it.